You ever try to 3D print something and come back to find it has popped off the bed halfway through? It's a common problem and it happens to the best of us. At 3DQ, we call this kind of failure a detach. If your part falls over, you're going to want to stop the print as soon as possible. A loose part floating around on the build plate can cause all kinds of damage if it gets stuck in the motion system of the printer, or the resulting spaghetti might turn into a horrible nozzle blob. So I'm Stephen McCulloch from 3DQ, and today's video is the sixth out of 14 on our video series about Quinley Vision, our AI supervisor for 3D printers. Today I'll explain how Quinley Vision detects a detach, and then I'll talk a bit about why detaches happen and what you can do to prevent detaches from happening on your 3D prints. So how does Quinley Vision detect a detach? AI has to look at things a bit differently than humans do. So when we look at a print falling off the bed, we can pretty clearly just say, yeah, print just fell off the bed but an AI has to fulfill some pretty specific criteria to be pretty confident that a detach has in fact happened. So the first thing is that Quinley Vision has to look across multiple frames to identify a detach. It's quite hard for an AI to look at just a single image and be able to tell you whether or not the model that's there is supposed to be there. The most important thing for Quinley Vision to detect detach is if one thing on the bed is moving relative to another thing on the bed. And that could be something like a sudden change in position or a sudden change in angle with respect to something else on the bed, then Quinley Vision will identify that as a detach and it'll box around the area that has moved relative to whatever else is on the bed. So an example of that would be a print that has moved a bit and the skirt has stayed in place. So you can see the relative movement between the skirt and the part. Another good example would be if you're printing a batch of parts and one of them comes off the bed, then Quinley Vision will be able to tell which part has detached by its relative movement compared to the other parts. So if the part is completely missing from the bed, then we have a separate detector in Quinley Vision that identifies the printed model itself, and that's our model detector. And I'll talk about that more in a future video, but essentially it learns the shape of the 3D printed part. So it'll be able to differentiate the printed part from a clump of spaghetti, for example. If the model disappears from the frame for enough frames, then the model detector will consider that a detach event. So without the detach detector actually ever getting involved, Quinley Vision will decide that this is a detach event and stop the print. So the main difference between the two is that the model detector detects the presence or absence of the print, whereas the detach detector detects the relative movement of one part of the print with another. So now you know how Quinley Vision detects a detach, but why does a detach happen in the first place? Well, there are a few reasons, the common one being poor bed adhesion, another one just being an unleveled bed to begin with, and also sometimes the 3D printed part itself can be unstable. So if it's a tall, skinny part that can easily get knocked over, that can detach fairly easily. Or if it's something that's kind of top heavy, like a tree-shaped object or something, then that can also get knocked over fairly easily by the nozzle. So when a detach happens, sometimes there are some fails that happen before a detach that can kind of be an early warning sign that Quinley Vision will catch before the detach actually happens. So one of those is warping. If the print starts peeling off the bed, it'll likely fully peel off the bed eventually. Uh, over extrusion, which causes buildup of material that will eventually cause the nozzle to crash. A uh, layer shift, which is just the result of a nozzle crash usually. Or a bad first layer, which just immediately peels up and is kind of a detach event by itself. After a detach, it's almost always going to get followed up by some level of spaghetti. So if the detach event isn't detected, then Quinley Vision's spaghetti detector will detect the spaghetti. So what can you do to prevent detaches from happening on your 3D prints? Well, the best thing you can do is to improve your bed adhesion, and that's usually resulting from your first layer. So best thing to do, I say this all the time, is just slow down your first layer. I use 10 millimeters per second on every print. My first layers are usually pretty darn good. Next thing you can do is increase your layer height on your first layer and your line width. And that makes the molten plastic stay molten for longer and that seems to make everything stick down to the bed quite a bit better. And then you can also try increasing your nozzle temperature a little bit more than you normally would just for your first layer. And that makes sure all the plastic is super molten so it sticks down really well to the bed. Next thing you wanna do is make sure your bed is level and that your Z offset is set correctly. So your first layer is printing down with just a little bit of squish but not too much. And I would actually highly recommend investing in a auto leveling system for your 3D printer if you don't already have one. Super 
helpful and it helps me get level beds without having to think about it. And the next thing you can do to improve your bed adhesion, if all that isn't working for you, is just upgrade your bed. At 3DQ, we use the vapor beds on all of our printers in our print farm and detach really isn't a problem for us. And just so you know, the vapor bed is something we include just with all the Quinley kits that we sell. So we're not just an AI company, we also do automation for 3D printers. And on that note, Detecting detach events is good for automated 3D printing because we can't be watching all of our printers at all times. So if something falls off the bed when it wasn't supposed to, we really want the printer to stop what it's doing so that someone can go and deal with the problem. And there's no way you can spend all day watching your prints and catching all the fails. So Quinley Vision is really helpful for not just a single printer, but for print farms in general. So if you're interested in Quinley Vision and you want your printer to tell you when a part's fallen off, check out our Quinley Vision demo. It's linked in the description. And that's it for today. So remember to drop a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.